Good evening here on the uh, Central River Hawks uh, YouTube channel. I'm Joel McCall. We're visiting now with Paul Holman. He is the head coach for the uh, Central River Hawks uh, girls tennis squad, and uh, they'll be competing here tomorrow, it sounds like, for uh, state and uh, the doubles. But we're going to talk all about that as well as the regular season. First of all, Coach, uh, thank you so much for spending some time with us tonight. do appreciate it. Well, thanks for having me tonight. I appreciate your effort to uh, support the athletics and lacrosse. A 12 and 12 regular season record. You just let me know that it was 12 and 14 after the sectionals. Uh, give us, you know, just kind of a rundown of the, the season as a whole in your uh, perspective and uh, talk about some of your top single competitors. Since uh, I know that uh, you and I spoke off the air, I had a hard time finding some some information. So I, I gladly yield to you, sir. Well, we had a, uh, a really great season. Um, we had. Uh, always a challenge every year when you have uh, graduating seniors and uh, last year we had graduated five seniors and uh, all five of those seniors are very important parts to our program and so we weren't sure beginning this year how we were going to fill all those voids um, but we uh, uh, had some good five to six players back from the year before so we knew we were going to um, have a pretty good season and it ended up uh, real strong for us we ended up uh, uh, second in the conference um, and third in the sectional. So with that 12 and 12 record, um, we do go travel quite a bit. Um, we travel to Marshfield, we travel to Green Bay. Um, so, and all of those are kind of nice because we start the season August 7th and school doesn't start to the 30th of, or actually the 1st of September. So we can do a lot of the traveling without the girls missing school and stuff. So, uh, and, and it adds to a lot of the fun, fun of the season. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of camaraderie when you're talking about long bus trips and whatnot going across the state. Uh, how about some uh, top individuals? Uh, not the not. Let's not get into to doubles yet. I want to talk about them in a little bit. All right. Well, our um, number one singles player for the last two years is uh, Sienna Torgarud, and uh, Sienna finished the season twenty and ten which is a phenomenal record for a number one singles player. Um, when she, um, it's not always fun to be the number one singles player because you are playing against the best players of the other teams. Right. So um, she had to be on the top of her game almost every match. And when she heads again to the other side of the state, uh, we're also playing some pretty good talent there also. So uh, for her to finish 20 and 10 is, is again, an awesome and Sienna's is just a, a, a great athlete. She also plays basketball. You hear that name again. Um, and uh, when you can get a great athlete out for tennis, that's the result. You get a number one player that uh, really does a great job, and she's a wonderful kid. Well, you're talking about uh, going all over for these uh, those meets. I wanted to ask, because I know you had several meet wins throughout the season. What's the competition like around the area, and especially with the MVC? Yeah, our competitions um, in the area is pretty good. Um, Aquinas has some um, two girls that are going to state uh, in Division II to, uh, champ or championships tomorrow. Um, and that led to Aquinas winning the, the conference, MVC. Um, and then tennis is kind of an up and down sport. Um, Mono Alaska has always been strong in the past. They've been down the last couple of years, but I'm sure uh, Kurt will bring his group um, stronger back in the next few years. And so uh, it's usually the, the three of us with Aquinas, um, Central, and um, on Alaska. Logan's had some good teams in the past. Um, so again, in, in, um, tennis is not a sport that everybody plays. So um, some of that youth program really helps that we've established over the years. So um, right around the area, it's pretty good tennis. As they say, we're sending a doubles team and we're sending um, two singles players to the state tournament. Um, our biggest problem is we run up against the Madison schools for the sectional. I saw that. So you're talking about Madison will have um, uh, Madison West, Madison Memorial, and Verona will have the top four singles players uh, in the championship rounds come Saturday afternoon. And yeah. they're in our sectional. So it's pretty tough to get out. <laughs> yeah. That makes, I mean, that's what makes it hard for your number one as well. As you said, 2010, yeah. that's a, that's a great record. But then when you're heading off playing some of the top 
of the entire state, uh, just in a sectional makes it even more, uh, more difficult, and more challenging. Yeah. Uh, it sounds like you've, you've had a, a great group though. I mean, overall this season, uh, talk about some of your leaders of on and off the court then. Yeah. Um, and then our number two singles player is Allie or Allison, um, Colt and, uh, she'll come, she'll be back next year. So she's a great leader. Um, and then, um, probably our strongest, just all around great role model is, um, uh, Allie Schlick and she's a senior, um, played our three doubles or three singles for us. Sorry. And, um, Oh, I'm not sure what Allie's record was, but she did finish third in the sectional and second in the conference. Nice. Um, so she um, gave us a good solid year and she's one of those um, does about, well, probably 10 things before you and I get up in the morning. Um, she's on debate team. She plays about every instrument you could think of. Um, and uh, she's just a wonderful person and uh, a great role model for our younger kids. So Allie is probably quiet, quietly our strongest leader. It's uh, a credit to any high school kid because they do so many things. I mean, I was in like two things in high school and now you look at their resume coming out and they're in like, you know, yeah. five different things. It's, it's insane. At least five things, if not more than that. At least. Yeah. Yeah. Again, we're talking with uh, Paul Holman. He's the head coach for uh, girls tennis. So let's talk about sectional meet. Uh, you just mentioned how tough it was, you know, you're going off and playing against Madison and whatnot, yet you get a doubles uh, to, to state, you know, Katie and Odessa both uh, combined to, to make it to state. Tell me about their run at sectionals. Um, well, they had a, um, a really great match against uh, Verona and um, uh, Verona, they had beaten them. We had played Verona comes to lacrosse beginning of August. So they had already played them once and they beat them here. And then the sectional was here also. So they beat them again, which gave them the automatic bid for the state tournament. Um, and then they went on to play Madison West and um, Middleton. And both those two teams will be, are seeded into the tournament. So that was a pretty tough battle for them too. Um, they got a pretty good draw for tomorrow's match. But well, they're playing Middleton, but it's Middleton's two singles team, not their one. Okay. So... We, we uh, are, are pretty optimistic about that, that um, draw that they got. Um, but that Middleton's too is, is, would be a, a one team pretty much in any mode of a lot of the other teams in the state. So that's why they got into the tournament because they won the sectional at the two singles or the two double spot. I see. Okay. So, yeah, it's a little bit different tennis. Um, when you think of state tournaments for basketball and all these other sports, you think, well, they won the sectional, so there's only four teams left in the state to play. But there's actually 56 singles players that will play tomorrow and 56 doubles teams. So a lot of programs still uh, – uh, uh, you get a lot of tennis players still playing. Right. A lot of competition then. The, the state tournament yeah. is some little thing. I think it's a three-day event too, correct? I mean, they play all the way till Saturday. Yes, they do. They will play uh, starting – um, they'll play tomorrow at two. If they win, they'll play Saturday at nine or Friday at nine. And then they'll have another match, uh, Friday afternoon and then Saturday and then Saturday afternoon. So you got to win five matches to go on to win the championship. And is there a consolation round then too, Paul? No, there's, just, just okay. for the third and fourth place. Okay. Yeah. I just wondered if, they, if once, they won. once you lose, you're out. So okay. yeah, that's, uh, that's the unfortunate part too, you know, uh, again, they're playing in Madison, as uh, Coach Holman mentioned. I want to ask you about uh, practice and growing the program of, with tennis, too, because uh, I'm not super familiar, obviously, uh, with tennis. I used to actually string rackets at Dick's Sporting Goods. That's about as <laughs> much as uh, I know as yeah. far as the equipment. got to find a new location here. <laughs> uh, but uh, and I'll let you do that first uh, before we go on with our, our talk. I did hear your dog earlier too. So. Yeah, that was why I got to find a new location. Okay. That's all right. Hey, we're just live on YouTube. No big deal. Uh, <laughs> we're good. So, yeah. So talk about, uh, you know, growing the program. What do you do in practice? Because, you know, I'll walk by like, you know, Cass Park and there's people, you know, acting like they're playing tennis. I don't know how good they are most of the time, but, <laughs> you know, they're out there trying to just swing the racket and you can go by and you're like, oh, that looks kind of easy, but it is not an easy sport either. No, um, 
And I give a lot of credit to my assistant coach, Dylan Meyer. Um, Dylan is actually the boys coach. And so we kind of trade off for the girls season. Um, I'm the assistant for the boys. Okay. And so uh, we work pretty well together and um, we work a lot on skill. Um, uh, but we always tell the girls that it's really hard to become a good tennis player during the high school season. Um, we kind of hope that they'll spend a lot of time in the summer working on their ground strokes um, because a lot of times we spend a lot of um, the practices spending more on court management and ma match management and um, how do you win points and um, because after a while, it's great to have to be able to hit the ball, but you have to understand the game and what you're doing out there. So um, we kind of kind of try to combine all that into a practice of about an hour and a half every day. So what about uh, I want to ask about doubles then Katie and Odessa, what's, you know, their combo like? I mean, what's their style like? And then how did you manage to put them together? Well, um, Katie came off of uh, playing doubles last year with uh, Kayla Holman and they had, they had gone to state when Kayla's my daughter. So they had gone to state. Um, so we were kind of thinking maybe Kayla would, or uh, K Katie, I might go singles this year and play some singles. Um, and then Odessa beat her in the challenge matches. So that's how you decide who your one is and your two. And then Sienna went and beat both of them. So we kind of knew Katie was too good to be a, a two singles player. So that's why we kept her at doubles. And Katie is actually a very good doubles player, obviously. And um, Odessa played our two singles last year as a junior. And she had a really um, tough year. I think she was five and um, maybe 22. And two doubles is a tough spot to play because you're always facing the second best player. And sometimes that second best player is just as good as the one player. So uh, throughout the summer, Odessa spent a lot of time practicing, a lot of time getting better. And um, we were just surprised at how good she got to play that one double spot. So it was like a no brainer after that. We're like, Odessa and her are getting along well and they played well. And I think they ended up 22 and five on the season. So. Wow. Yeah, that's that's awesome. And just some things just kind of fall together, don't they? It did. Yeah. And doubles kind of does that. Sometimes you kind of go into the season wondering who is going to work together well. And um, those two has, have really stepped in and meshed as a great team. Well, you've uh, I know that we, you already mentioned when they play on, on Thursday, then in Madison, which is great. That's uh, tomorrow at uh, in the morning. I correct. And then we said uh, two, two o'clock, two o'clock, two o'clock. Pardon me. Yep. If win, it's Friday morning. Uh, so yes. yeah, I want to make sure I mentioned that. And uh, how about your senior group? Uh, talk about who you're going to, to miss next year. How many are leaving the program? Well, we're actually, we're, we're losing, we're losing five. Um, uh, the other uh, Sienna, I mentioned Ali, I mentioned um, Odessa and then um, Kendall is um, Kendall Blanco is um, a senior that played our two doubles. So she'll graduate. And then we had a foreign exchange student. Um, Mari Kawasi was with us this year and she played our four single spot. So um, we're, we're, we'll miss her. She was a surprise because foreign exchange students, they come in, you don't always know right. how, how good they can play. And if they can play, sometimes they, they haven't really played much. They just want to be on a tennis team. And Mari came in with playing what she called soft tennis in Japan. So we looked soft tennis up and it looked a lot like our tennis. So I, we knew we were in pretty good shape and she did a nice job. She ended up getting uh, second in the conference and um, she got, she actually got uh, second in the set in the sectional also. Wow. Nice. So. That's awesome. Yeah. That's well, congratulations on building the program again, uh, losing several seniors, but it, as you mentioned, you've uh, started that youth program that really helps out any uh, athletic uh, program. <laughs> I mean, you got to have the youth to, to step up and tennis is fun. If you haven't been out there to, to play before, I have played a little bit and it is a lot of fun. It's a, it's a great sport. You got to really have endurance. I do know that because uh, they're long. Those matches can last a long time. So uh, we wish uh, 
Yeah, Katie and Odessa, the best of luck tomorrow. Coach Holman, thank you again for joining me. Do really appreciate the time tonight. All right. Thanks for having me and uh, keep up the good work. Yeah, thank you very much. Again, we'll, right. have, we'll have volleyball for you coming up uh, tomorrow night. We'll have live play-by-play, -play and we'll hopefully have an update on the, the girls' tennis and how they did uh, at State. For Joel McCall, or I'm Joel McCall for Coach Holman. Uh, All right. Goodbye.